friends, I hope you're having a great day. I am super excited because I found a hack on Pinterest for something that has been bugging me and driving me crazy and I think I can do it. So let me show you guys what I'm working with here. Okay, so I have a set of doors here. Okay, and then I have the same set of doors here. So looking at these, these drive me absolutely crazy. Um, <laughs> I cannot stand them. For one, they are so hard to keep clean. They are like dust magnets. So that's that's my biggest thing. And and also they're just not, they're not the vibe. So I think if I paint them white, they are just going to end up looking kind of beachy, <laughs> which is not the vibe of our house. So I'm thinking that um, this little update is gonna make a really big difference. So here, here's what you do is you I fill the inside of this with a really thin piece of plywood and then get some trim and trim around the edges. I'll put a picture up here of what that's gonna look like. Um, and then I think for the bottom, I can add some extra detail and do my sweet little cute farmhouse X that I'm like absolutely obsessed with. I think they're gonna work. My first step is to, <laughs> is to switch these doors around. <laughs> this is like, I'm looking at these doors last night and I'm like, are these off? What is going on? And um, if you look, this one's higher than this one. It's not that bad, but then you get down here and it's like, okay, what what's going on here? Um, so I think if I try to trim this out, it'll become like very, very obvious. So um, it's also the same, same story over here. This one is taller than this one. They end differently. I mean, whoever put these in, look at, this is like major, come on. <laughs> this is like not gonna fly. So my first step is gonna be to swap the doors around and see if I can get them to match. I think it'll be pretty easy. So if that works, then I'm gonna be over the moon. If they match, then I know that the trim is gonna match. It's not gonna be super obvious. The state that they're in right now, it's not that obvious. And eventually, these ones here, this is our office. Um, these ones here are eventually gonna be barn doors. I've got enough space on either side to do some barn doors, but for now they're gonna stay. But these ones, it's gotta go. It's It's gotta go, it's gotta be updated. So anyway, I'm gonna work on that. And let's just pray that I can get the doors to match. <laughs> believe it worked I'm literally over the moon ecstatic and now my other set of doors look it looks way better anyway I should have just done that a long time ago um, it, it honestly was just kind of one of those things that I was like yeah eventually it's gonna get replaced so why even bother but now we have a new plan okay so I'm literally going to Home Depot right now just got in the truck I'm ready to leave I'm gonna get all my supplies and then I will um, show you guys everything that I got and we're gonna get cracking on this today like I'm pumped. <laughs> Hello! Okay, we are back at it this morning. I'm starting on these doors. Um, I already cut two panels. Oh my gosh, I have sawdust in my eye. Um, I already cut two panels and I'm just gonna be working away at this. It's so funny, I start doing this project and realize that 
my home sweet home established sign that I um, made a few weeks back totally prepared me for this project. Um, <laughs> you know, cutting the panels to fit inside these doors is basically what I had to do with the last one, so I'm reminiscing on that project. Um, anyway, it's just funny how you do something and you learn and um, you know, then it comes up again and you're like, okay, I got this. So anyway, um, let me show you guys what I've done so far. So here is where I'm at. Um, I have one panel cut so far and see this just sits right in here and it's flush. Um, so then the trim is gonna go around the outside of this and um, cover that. So we love that. I'm gonna be chipping away at these. I've got, you know, I'm gonna do both sides of the door. So um, I've got eight of these to do. I've got my whole situation out here. And I have to show you guys my fail already. <laughs> I'm gonna blame it on, um, on uh, I, I'm not fully caffeinated yet. So that's gonna be my excuse. I was doing the little um, circular stuff <laughs> and cut the table, so oh well. You know you've married the right guy when you go in and you say, uh, I cut the new table. Like literally we just bought this table. I haven't even, this is my first time using it. <laughs> And he's like, well, as long as you have all of your fingers and toes and limbs, then hey, cut away. So he's so sweet and supportive like that. But anyway, um, fail on that one. And I'm going to continue caffeinating. And um, we're just going to keep going at this. So I think it's going to take me like all day probably. But it's going to be fun. I'm having a good time. So I'll bring you guys along with me, show you how I'm getting these cuts um, and how it's kind of working for me. And uh, we'll, we'll get to it. to show you guys how I'm jigging this. <laughs> um, so my pieces, I mean, you know, I've got like the absolute tiniest bit that I could try to fit these in. So my centers, um, if I don't get it like spot on, um, I need to make sure like the most important thing, I've, you know, I've got the trim and I've got a decent size trim. So gives me a little bit of room for error. And, um, but the most important thing is that, my, and I can't like push, oops, sorry guys. I can't push on the plywood and it's gonna, um, you know, like sink in because that's not gonna work when I get the trim and there's gonna be gaps. And anyway, I don't want that. So, when in doubt, shim it up, okay? Um, so I, I'm actually just using some cardboard. Cardboard, wood, whatever you got, no big deal. So I'm just putting a few pieces of cardboard in here. I've got like cardboard galore here. And um, maybe not that piece. Trying to get um, a few pieces of cardboard. I'll show you why. It's usually, it's, it seems like it's just right in the center that they flex a little bit. And so that way, that cardboard is just perfect. And then the cardboard gives me, because it's kind of it squishes a little bit, and when I put the nailer on, see like this, I don't know if you can see, that's not what we want. So I need to put a shim right there. So when I get those pieces in there, then it makes this, um, you know, I can't push down on it. And that's what we want, because then when we put our trim and I do caulking and everything, then I won't have a big old struggle, struggle bus. But see, that is perfect. So then I don't have any spots where I can press down and the board flexes. Maybe I need to put one. No, that's gonna be good right there. So yeah, the little lip is so small. So my room for error is near to none. <laughs> like it needs to be perfect. And you know what? We're a beginner and we're just making it happen, having fun. So anyway, that's what I'm doing here, guys. Um, just thought I would show you. And then I'm just pin nailing this in and then my trim will cover. Let me show you guys my trim. So I just got lattice trim. And so see, this covers that gap. Oh man, I love it already. It's already so much better. Hey guys, alrighty. So I have all the trim on. 
I can't wait to show you guys um, getting it painted. I think it's just gonna transform it. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna do it gray or white yet. I'm probably gonna hop on the computer and take a picture of them and see if I can get them in a program and um, see what color I think they should be. So anyway, I will um, see you guys in just a little bit. I did spray paint um, the hinges. Same with these up here. These just, you know, they pull out and there's a little, a little ball at the top um, where they kind of click in and close. So I spray painted that. And so that saved me a little bit of cash doing it that way. And then I did get these barn door handles off of Amazon and um, they were really easy to install and um, very affordable. So I do recommend those. And I did with the framing uh, I did caulk everything around so that way all my edges were really smooth and then you guys saw a clip back that I uh, so I painted the doors white taped them up all around the trim and then uh, painted the gray tr the trim gray so thank you to all of you guys who voted on Instagram and voted for the white with the gray trim I'm so happy I listened to y'all you were totally right and uh, I think it turned out super cute and kind of matches our entryway here as well and just transform the space. So thanks again, another project off the list. Stay tuned for more, we've got a lot more in store for you guys. So we'll catch you guys really soon, bye.